Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brother and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who called us to serve your Son in the least of our brothers and sisters, grant, we pray, by the example and intercession of the Virgin Saint Mary Ann Cope, we may burn with love for you and for those who suffer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. David went to bring up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom into the city of David amid festivities. As soon as the bearers of the ark of the Lord had advanced six steps, he sacrificed an ox and a fatling. Then David, girt, girt with a linen apron, came dancing before the Lord with abandon, as he and all the house of Israel bringing up the ark of the Lord with shouts of joy and to the sound of the horn. The ark of the Lord was brought in and set in its place within the tent David had pitched for it. Then David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. When he finished making these offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. He then distributed among the people to each man and each woman in the entire multitude of Israel, a loaf of bread, a cut of roast meat, and a raisin cake. With this, all the people left for their homes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels, reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. The Lord be with you. With your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. 
The mother of Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue the second book of Samuel, we see a few days ago where David was anointed king, and now David is leading a procession up to Jerusalem to bring the Ark of the Covenant. And for the Israelite people, the Ark of the Covenant was where the manna, where the bread was held, and it was the Holy of Holies very comparable to what we would have in our churches as a tabernacle. And we see that David, as soon as they brought the Ark of the Covenant, or as he calls it, the Ark of the Lord, um, he sacrificed an ox and a fatling, and then he danced before the Lord with the bandit because they were bringing the Ark back to the city of Jerusalem. We also see then that Ark of the Lord was brought in, it was set in its place, uh, placed in its tent, and then David um, distributed to the people a loaf of bread and some meat and a raisin cake. And then the people took that back to their homes. I think as we listen to this particular passage, you can see all kinds of foreshadowing images of the Holy Eucharist namely coming to the altar here, receiving the Lord from the Eucharist, in the Eucharist, and then obviously taking the Lord back out into the world in our own hearts as we receive communion. Today we could celebrate a few feasts, but I chose to celebrate the Feast of St. Mary Ann Cope, and she was a Franciscan sister from New York, the state of New York, And eventually she went to Molokai in Hawaii and worked with lepers uh, with St. Damien for a number of years. She truly brought the presence of the Lord to those people as she ministered to them. She not only brought the word of God to them, but she cared for them in their need because they were abandoned by those around them. She was what Jesus would call a sister to him as he refers to his brothers and sisters in the gospel today. As we celebrate this feast of St. Mary and Cope, as we look at uh, David bringing the Ark of the Lord to Jerusalem and Jesus teaching his brothers and sisters, let us pray that our hearts may be opened to God's presence in our lives, that we may minister to others in need, and that we may recognize that we are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ himself. And let us pray for Pope Francis and all the bishops. May God bless them with strength and courage as they lead the Church of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with authority, power, and governance, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in working for a world of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those enduring difficult family situations, May the unending and unconditional love of the Lord guide them in their struggles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may the Holy Spirit draw us ever closer to one another and to the Lord, 
as we labor for his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they soon be welcomed to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise you for your goodness. Look kindly upon the needs of your family, which we place before you, and ask you to answer them according to your holy will. We pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, Blessed Mary, and Cope, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. 
For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Mary Ann Cope, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only do this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord, all the days of my life. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Mary Ann Cope, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Amen. the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.